as structural measures of the quality of sulfur have become more, uh, more available and more popular, we've started seeing people write these into outsourcing contracts and system integration contracts as the equivalent of service level agreements so that uh, when you deliver the code it will be of the following quality or there will either be a penalty or you'll have to go back and remediate the problems before we accept it. Uh, and so this is a future way that these are going to be used in outsourcing contracts, in system integration contracts, as a way to control the quality of what's received. Now, these things are multidimensional. I can, I can state a, a quality criteria for security, for reliability, for maintainability, for a number of different quality attributes of software. Uh, now, the outsourcers were finding that this was happening and every different customer had a different way to measure maintainability or reliability or some other attribute of software. And while they knew they could handle this, they, they knew they would be able to deal with these kinds of measures, what they couldn't deal with is 75 different definitions for what maintainability is or what security is. They needed a common definition that they could use across the company uh, to satisfy these contractual obligations. Uh, and so a number of them went to the Software Engineering Institute, to the Object Management Group, which is a standards organization, and said, look, we need you to take on the challenge of coming up with common definitions for software measurement, for the structural uh, attributes of software quality and for software size. Uh, and so uh, they, those two institutions got together, uh, decided to form a consortium to tackle that problem. They asked me to be uh, the director of the consortium because I've been involved both with the SEI, with the development of CMM, and also with some, uh, some standards work inside the object management group. Uh, and so we formed the consortium. We had executive meetings in Frankfurt, Germany, in Bangalore, India, in Washington, D.C. Uh, we got interested companies together, got them to decide what kinds of measures they would like us to focus on. And out of that came a desire to have standards written initially for five measures. Uh, first, functional size. And a lot of people were using function points. Uh, as a way to judge and benchmark productivity of outsourcers. The problem is it's very expensive to count these manually uh, and the current definition has a lot of vagueness and so you can see 10 percent differences uh, in the results of different function point counters. Uh, so they want us to come up with a common automatable definition for function points so it could be cheap and it could be consistent. Second, uh, they want a measure of the reliability of software, you know, the things that keep you from having outages. Uh, Third, they wanted a measure of the performance efficiency of software, the structural attributes that affect how efficient a, an application is going to run. Third, they wanted measures of security, uh, you know, the potential for security breaches inside a, uh, an application. And fourth, they wanted measures of the maintainability of software, how, you know, how difficult this piece of software is going to be uh, to work with when I have to go in and you know, fix defects or add new functionality or the various other things that, that they want to do over the life of the application. So those were the five measures. Uh, uh, an automated measure for function points as close to the if bug definition as possible, a measure for reliability, for security, for performance efficiency, and for maintainability. Uh, and so we formed CISC, we had 24 companies join, we took technical representatives from those 24 companies and created over the course of about a year to a year and a half the various standards uh, for those measures. We're now putting those measures before the object management group standardization process. In fact, uh, two days ago I presented the function point specification. We're, we're in the process of making modifications to that to get it to fit into the, uh, the, the way that OMG does standards. Uh, we expect by the end of the year that may be approved as a supported specification of the object management group. Uh, we'll also be adding in these other four measures for security and uh, reliability and what have you through the OMG process. Uh, and so that's, that's been the, uh, the function of the consortium for IT software quality. Uh, it's what we're trying to do. As we get these standards in place, then, oh, then CISC, the consortium for IT software quality, will transition from creating standards to deploying standards. So our next phase in CISC is to work with companies globally to help them adopt these various measures, to use them for benchmarking, to use them for uh, monitoring the quality of what's received back on their various outsourcing and system integration contracts, 
uh, to use them internally to help improve the quality of what they're, uh, they're doing in their own development. So our next phase is on deployment. Uh, but CISC has been a good, strong uh, integration of a lot of companies from a lot of different segments trying to get hold of and, and take advantage of this new world of measuring the structural quality of applications.